Well, good morning, everybody. It is about 7.30. Husband just left to go to work. Um, my little older, oldest one is finishing up breakfast. We just had some leftover egg, egg bake and some sourdough pancakes we had from our Wednesday night supper last night. Um, my littlest is waking up to be nursed, so it's going to be kind of a whirlwind of a morning but um it's going to be a great day too it's a beautiful fall day we had rain yesterday hoping to get a little more garden work done as i want to dry some herbs um and so i thought i would bring you along today on whatever today holds i have some packages that i need to get shipped today that i sold on marketplace i've been doing a lot of that lately and it's been it's been fun just going around the house taking pictures of things and storage and clothes I don't wear anymore. And I helped my sister out too when we went to visit last weekend and um, helped her with some pictures and selling things for her too. So some of those items are for her as well, but I have about seven or eight packages here. So I gotta get all these packages out today. So we'll probably walk to the post office because they won't all fit in our mailbox, but that has to happen this morning. So I'm just going to drink my coffee, do this dishes clean up, before the littlest one needs some nursing here very soon. So I've been making my pumpkin spice latte quite a bit lately. I had it in one of my homemaking videos as well. So it's super good. Just been enjoying that right now and gonna play with our, my little girls. So another task I've been doing, as you heard me say, was selling some items on Marketplace. And I get totes of clothes from my sister because she has three girls. Um, and so I'm going to go through this 2T because my daughter is in 3T, 4T clothes now and see what fall winter stuff I can try to sell and get rid of because this is overflowing and we have clothes for zero to three months, three to six months, six to nine, then 12, then 18. And so we're gonna be getting too many things. So I just need to purge some items out and why not try to make a little money off of it while you can? Cause people are looking for little kids clothes all the time on Marketplace. <music> I'm keeping all these long sleeves. It's hard for me to get rid of knowing I have another girl coming. And then I'll get rid of all of these pants here and sell that as a lot. And then sell all these long sleeves as a lot. And then this, my husband was selling on um, Amazon. So I'm gonna sell that too because Christmas season is coming. And uh, no our oldest Nevea wore this in her Christmas card last year except a bigger size. So lunch today is leftovers. I have two options. This is a sourdough skillet bake. I made it like Mexican style with beef and corn and salsa and tomatoes in it. And that recipe base is off of Farmhouse on Boone that I use. And then this I made in my fall meal ideas. Um, there's not a lot of that left, but it's a hamburger spaghetti squash with cheese on top, kind of like a, a baked spaghetti, but with spaghetti squash. So those are our two options and then we'll have some veggies and hummus on the side.
Okay, so I got all the produce cleaned off. My beets weren't quite as big as I thought, but that's okay, they'll still work. And then I am gonna do some roasted potatoes with some salmon tonight too. And I got some of my carrots, so I'll leave the carrots out and the beets out that are still in the ground, even after a light frost, cause then they still are in the ground, so they'll be okay. So fun to have those. They were so dirty though, cause we had rain yesterday. But got them cleaned off and we'll use all of this for supper tonight. So I absolutely love gardening, but this time of year when it's um, done with all the harvesting for the most part and it's gonna be freezing and I know I need to do some garden cleanup I struggle to get out to do that and I kind of want to have a more of a tidy garden for next year instead of leaving everything up after it freezes I was watching Parisian farm girl the other day um, and she just had given some pointers on snapdragon so I got those tripped trimmed down to about five inches in order to maintain them through the winter in our zone five which is pretty cool if we mulch them but um, there's just tasks outside that when it gets to be chilly and cold and rainy um, it's hard for me to want to go out and do that especially having a newborn and a toddler i'm ready for the season of hunkering down inside baking more cleaning and decluttering stuff like that um, I'm sure some of you maybe feel that way, some of you maybe don't, but I definitely have hit that point right now and I planted a lot more in my gardens than I have in the past. So um, I was maybe a little over ambitious. I probably have like 40 to 50 pounds of potatoes I dug up. <laughs> and so it was just, it was fun during the time, but a lot of, a lot of work when it comes down to it, especially like I said, when you have too little. So homemaking and taking care of family and house and then when you have gardening land on top of it it definitely can get to be a lot but um i just remind myself don't give up because just take one day at a time um and i'm doing this to serve my family and um, it's something i truly do enjoy so when spring rolls around again i know i'll be super excited to get back in the garden but right now um with it being like 40 degrees out i'm just ready to be inside <laughs> So I think after I'm done feeding Nadia here, I'll probably do a little supper prep if I can while my oldest is napping. So um, that's always something I like to do is get some supper prep done when they are resting. potatoes I decided and I'm gonna do them in the instant pot I've done this before with a meatloaf I think I shared um, once before but it's so fast so easy and then I can leave them on warm um, the one thing with garden produce is it sure takes a lot of work to get everything clean um, that's the nice thing about the store it's really pretty clean you just wash it and so get all the dirt off so anyways Neve only had a 45 minute nap today so been working on this with her awake and we're gonna keep working on the day just make the most of the last of our zinnias and cosmos 
and my Snapdragons before the freeze. And I got this sweet little postcard from one of you. Anyways, um, yeah, just trying to make the most of all we have. And I got all the Cosmos cut down so it looks nice and barren down there. Sad. Well, we just went for a short little walk and I knew there was a guy home who had a tree of apples. I've never stopped and asked him before, but I did this time. And these are some honey crisp and then some green apples. So I'm just advising if you see someone who has a lot of produce just sitting in their yard or apple trees and they're falling off, ask. Because I got a bag full of those. Thank you. And then I got a lot of cherry tomatoes and a few regular and some banana peppers, which I didn't grow and I love banana peppers. So it'll be fun to have a little bit of those. I still have a few regular tomatoes, but like I said, it's gonna freeze tonight. So it's been fun getting all of this collected here. It's been a lot of work, but it's been a lot of fun as well. So potatoes are fork tender, cooked them for like 30 minutes. I'll just add some salt, um, garlic powder, probably some fresh rosemary, some butter, some milk, and call that good. This is our supper. This is my husband's plate salmon and some homegrown mashed potatoes and then carrots and beets. Beets. Thank you. And a lot of work but this? that's a carrot. It's a yellow carrot. Oh, okay. <laughs> bed doesn't mean they're actually going to stay sleeping or in bed but it is only 7:25, and I'm got the kitchen cleaned up I usually clean the bathrooms on this night but it was a pretty full day so I might do that before I shower tonight um, and I enjoy either a hot chocolate or a tea tonight maybe a little bit of some dark chocolate we'll see what I feel tonight but I hope you enjoyed coming along today getting some work done outside, um, getting some apples picked, that was fun, and just bringing you along on this day in the life in October. Hope you're having a blessed and wonderful day.